Center. Mark Brown along with Phil Murphy as we get ready for the Eagles and the Cowboys coming right up. But first, we're going to go down to the sidelines of AT&T Stadium where Collingwood has gone to Dallas. <laughs> We've got uh, Mason Cox and Nathan Buckley. And uh, Mason, what on earth are you guys doing at an NFL game? Yeah, I'm actually, uh, I might not sound it, but I'm actually from Dallas. So I'm, uh, I'm back home visiting family and everything else while we're in off season. So I figured why not come to probably one of the biggest games of the year, the Cowboys and the Eagles. Perfect. Well, guys, I'll spare you the Richmond Tigers fight song. I heard it a lot at the AFL Grand Final a few weeks ago. How do the sights and sounds of this NFL game in Jerry's world compare to a place you know well on a great footy match day, the MCG? Well, uh, it just got a little bit louder when you asked that question, but um, <laughs> you know, getting down here and watching the, uh, the big boys warm up um, and the size of the stadium, I mean, I think the MCG or a Melbourne cricket ground equates something like this, about 100,000 uh, capacity, but um, yeah, looking forward to seeing what it brings. Hey, uh, Mason, uh, you're a pretty big guy, almost seven feet, really on par with like an NBA basketball player. Talk about the size of that massive screen at AT&T Stadium. Yeah, it goes from one end of the field to the other, and it's um, it's pretty funny. You actually get caught actually looking at the screen sometimes more than you actually do it out the field. So sometimes you got to remind yourself the game's actually playing out in front of you live. But uh, I've been here a few times before, and it's an impressive stadium. It's um, it's a huge thing. It's got every little knickknack you could possibly think of. And uh, Jerry Jones has uh, done, done a fair, fair job out here and uh, putting it all together. But it's always an enjoyable time to come back. Coach, I know you're in your off season, but I'd be remiss if I didn't ask something specific to Collingwood. What does this team need to do over the next, uh, well, basically 11 and a half months to get back to the grand final? What's going to be the difference next season for if you guys are to contend for a premiership? That's a very incisive AFL question. Um, <laughs> well, we've had a couple of good years uh, to lose um, you know, the playoff game and to, to um, fall one step short last year. But um, we've got a really good squad. We're happy with our boys. Uh, we've just got to stick to our task and, and keep finding improvement from within. Um, look at a, a big fella next to me and uh, hasn't been playing football that long. Um, just over 50 games now, I think. So, um, yeah, he's got uh, he's still got a lot of improvement in him, and um, this might be um, a big part of our improvement next year. Well, Coach, best of luck should you be doing any recruiting there on the sideline. But enjoy the game overall, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. Cheers, guys. Thank nice you. Boys.